I don't know if I'm communicating. Wasaya 12, verse 10. I want to read uh, different versions of the scripture. Wasaya 12, verse what? 10. Actually, let's read verse 13. That the, the, the scripture I want is verse 13. It says, in King James Vision, it says, And by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt, and by a prophet he was preserved. Mm -hmm. Was he preserved? Amen? Mm -hmm. Let me read NLT, one of my favorite Bible versions. NLT says, he says, Then the Lord led Jacob's descendants, the Israelites, out of Egypt by a prophet who guided and protected them. Who guided and did what? Protected them. Who protected them? Huh? The Come on, talk to me. The Lord. No. The you are wrong. It's not the Lord. It's the Lord. I mean, it's the prophet. <laughs> Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Why? Because you can never separate a prophet with God. A prophet and God are close by us. Do you understand? That is why I've said this before in church, that a prophet who operates from his office doesn't wait for an audible voice to speak to him. He speaks himself, but because he himself is a voice. That is why when the people asked John the Baptist, they said, who are you? He said, I am the voice of the one crying in the wilderness. Meaning to say that whatever John said, it was God's voice. So John didn't have to wait for an audible voice of God to whisper in his ear and say, say this to the people. He was that voice himself. Am I, am I making sense? Am I communicating? Praise the name of Jesus. So a prophet operating from the office doesn't wait for the audible voice of God. He, he is that voice of God. If a prophet says that you are blessed, it is so. Mm -hmm. Amen. Does it make sense? Amen. He doesn't have to be inspired first. He is operating from the office. Amen. Am I communicating? Amen. Now the, the, the context of the scripture that we read in Messiah there it shows you that deliverance of the Israelites came through a prophet. Now, let me explain this. I know that it's going to obstruct you. The problem with the children of Israel was not fire. Hear me. Mm -hmm. The problem with the children of Israel was actually Moses. The longer Moses delayed and took care of his father-in-law's flock, the longer they suffered. You don't catch it. As long as Moses remained a shepherd mm -hmm. in his father-in-law's house, the children of Israel were going to continually be oppressed and be enslaved. Mm -hmm. So the problem, and, and some of you might think that the children of Israel never knew God. They actually knew God. That is why when God spoke to Moses, he said that I heard the cry of the children of Israel. Are you following me? It means that these people, they cried to whom? Huh? They cried to whom? God. And when they cried to God, God's response landed in another man. And I communicate. So it tells you that if the prophet was unavailable, the people were going to continually be oppressed. Mm -hmm. So the problem with the Israel or the nation of Israel was never Goliath. It was David. Mm -hmm. As long as David stayed longer in comfort zone, Goliath was going to continually uh, oppress the Israelites. So it was for David to respond or to respond or to have what I can call prompt obedience towards God.
God's calling and assignment. Am I telling you? That's when freedom came. Freedom never came until a prophet showed up. No matter how you try to convince yourself as a child of God, for God to set you free from certain oppressions, you need a man sent by God. Yes. John chapter number 1 verse number 6, he says that there was a man sent from God. His name was Chen Christian. Sorry, I mean John the Baptist. Yeah. I, I don't know if I'm communicating. Amen. So, so the, the longer these prophets delayed the longer the children of God suffered. Mm -hmm. So deliverance was through a prophet. Hello? Yes. Deliverance was what? Good. Through a prophet. Preservation was through a prophet. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm talking to right now. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that as long as you are under the sound of my voice, your deliverance, your healing is sure. I don't love the way you responded right Amen. now. Amen. I said, as long as you are under the sound of my voice, yes. your healing and your deliverance is sure. Amen. 